Ho, 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 ho. So glad to see you all today. Um, super excited about being here. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday to you. This is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I am known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert. It is time for us to make a change, time for us to make a difference. Can we say less? It's time. Yeah, it is time. You know, sometimes we're so deep. We're, we're so deep that we don't have a personality. Sometimes we're so deep, we're so busy, we're so we're so all of these things that we do not even allow for newness. We don't allow for nature. We don't allow for nowness to come in. Come on now. Good morning, uh, Pam. Go ahead and invite someone. We're not going to be on here long because I have a, another endeavor here at about 12 o'clock. So I got to um, um, get myself mentally prepared for that. Uh, but I'm just super excited to be here this morning, super excited that I can come and share just a few minutes with you. But I want to let you know that it is time. It is time for us to stop believing and thinking that, you know, where we are is where we have to be. What we're doing is what we have to do. What we have is all that we can have because there is more. There is more for you. There is more for me. The availability is there. The opportunity is there. The doors are there. And so I am just excited. I am excited and I am so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. Um, I want you to just be open. You know, a lot of times, you know, and I think I kind of touched on this a little bit last night. A lot of times we will close a door on an opportunity before we even go in. We'll say about something that we don't like and, we, you know, that we'll, we'll talk about different things that we do not like and we haven't even tried it. We have not tried it. But let me help you out. Let me help you out. Stop trying on struggle and let's try to put on some success. Let's stop trying on struggle. We see we will continue. We'll squeeze into things that we know is too little, don't fit. But then when we got some stuff, the opportunity to say that I may this may be able to work for me. This may work for me. And then we we are we're halted. We're halted. We we won't give we won't give the freeness, the opportunity, the space to come in. So I am encouraging you on today. Um, to have an open mind. I'm giving you an opportunity. I, I want you to have an opportunity to say that, you know, I've been going down this road and this road hasn't taken me anywhere. So now I want to try something different, something new. So the first thing I want to share with you before I go into what I'm going to talk about today is um, we're getting ready to gear up for Empowering 8 number 5. We're kicking off January the 7th. If you have never been a part of an empower of of empowering eight inner circle this is your time this is your time you have from now to then to get yourself together but make a decision lock in your spot we're kicking off january the 7th 2021 um empowering eight inner circle it has been amazing we just completed empowering eight inner circle number four this past thursday and we had a good time i enjoyed the ladies and um it was just it was amazing and so if you if you've been missing it you want to join us because 2021 is going to be um you know we kind of kicked off empowering eight inner circle um um we've celebrated a year we celebrated a year back in august and so um, this is a thing to come. This is a thing to be. This is a thing to be a part of. If you're looking for a sister circle, if you're looking for an intimate circle, if you're looking for an empowering, motivating, inspiring circle, Empowering 8 is your place to be. Good morning, Jeanette. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so again, if you have not been a part of Empowering 8, uh, if you have not been a part of Empowering 8, you're missing it. That's one. Number two, if you want to join Empowering 8, we are kicking off January the 7th, 2021. We're going to kick this thing off. I'm going to put this music back on just for a few minutes because I because I just I just feel like it. I feel like it. And for no, no apparent reason, but for my deep people, listen up. Listen up. Yeah. Yeah. Listen up. 
There is nothing wrong with you having a smile on your face. There is nothing wrong with you being happy. There is nothing wrong with you thinking that you don't have to suffer. There is nothing wrong with you dropping everything and say, you know what, I'm just going to tend to myself today. You know, even on, on, on Thursday when I talked to the Empower Nate Inner Circle, one thing that I reminded them and I brought it to you on yesterday. We have ransom money for everybody else, but we would leave ourselves out there to be captured and to be kept. Y'all not going to talk to me today. We will leave ourselves out there to be captured and to be kept. So it is time for you to take a stance for yourself. Stop leaving yourself out there. We will collect ransom money for everybody else, but we will not get the ransom money for ourselves to say, hey, it's time for me to be set free. Let's listen to this music just for a few minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. It's time. <laughs> it is time. Come on. It is time. Give yourself a break. Forgive your past. Forgive yourself and move on. A lot of us, we are stuck in past pain, hurts, and all these other different sorts of types of things, and we're missing it. We are missing the fullness of life. We're missing the potential of life. We're missing our possibilities because we're stuck in our past. We're stuck in our pain. We're stuck trying to figure out. We do such a good thing. Come on now. I love me some house music. Yes. We are so stuck in our analyzing phase that we're paralyzing ourselves. We are so stuck in the analyzing phase that we are paralyzing ourselves. We got to get out of that mode of thinking that we got to think of, you know, think about what, you know, it's good. We, we, now, we got to think about what we're thinking about, but don't think so long that you think wrong. You know, I'm one of quick decisions. I, I make quick decisions, and this is one thing that I can truly, honestly, honestly say. I have not made a decision that I have regretted. I have not made a decision that I have regretted. I have not. Because one thing about it, when you keep on working things out in your head and figuring out and contemplating and praying and crying and consulting, let me tell you about your constellation. Let me tell you about your constellations with your friends, with your boo, with your bae. Let me tell you about your constellation with people that are not even close to doing what you're accident about. And guess what? Can I help you out? If they knew the answer, that doggone it, they'll be doing it. They'll already be doing it. They don't know you're going to talk to other people that got the same problem you have. They went through the same stuff you have. They broke, you broke. They sick, you sick. They tired, you tired. They single and you single. You need to be talking to people to say, how is it that you stand in that marriage? How do you keep your relationship fresh? What is it that you doing, girl? Take me to the school that you go to to make your boo happy. Come on. See, we got to stop talking to people that got the same issues, the same past, same pain. Now, there is nothing wrong with getting lessons from the past because we know that's what we build. That's no, we know that's where we grow, that we know that's where we go, that's what that's where we are able to, you know, we, we know that. We we know that, right? But that ain't where that's that's not the only place that you can learn. Because if you stay stuck in your past and in your pain and you're asking people that don't have a clue, they don't have a clue because sometimes we're asking people that haven't been there and they ain't going. Yes, I said ain't. You have people that you are consulting and you are, you, you, you are, you, 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 you're communicating with. You're asking them about places that they have never been. They don't know. They don't know. And you're asking them about issues that they have. You're asking them about stuff that I, I'm, I'm not talking about. Listen, I'm not talking about things that they have had and gotten over. They overcame. They got through it. And all this is that they still in it. They was in it last year. They was in it five years ago. They was in it in 2015. So why are you still talking to them people instead of you talking to somebody else that done been there, done that, and they doing something else? Come on now. You are talking to people that if they had the answer, they'll be using it themselves. And, you know, I always use my example of when I used to gamble. And, you know, for some people like, oh, yeah, yeah, you used to do something. So I know if you, maybe you've been perfect all your life. I haven't. I'm still not. Um, I'm a work in progress. Want to do better. Trying to do better. Every day striving to be better. But I'm not perfect. 
But anyway, for you all that may be perfect, heads off to you. God bless you. And but, but anyway, when I used to gamble, I would be sitting at a machine losing my money, you know, minding my own business, hitting, hitting, hitting. I wouldn't so much be pulling the handle, but I'm hitting the button, hitting the button, hitting the button. Then you have some crazy person that'll come up beside me. You know, it's a machine. Um, uh, uh, It's a machine, you know, to my right, to your left. It's a machine to my left, to your right. And they are coming at you. Is this one hitting? Now, I'm thinking that's about the stupidest question that I, I probably have heard, you know, especially in the, right now. That's, that's the, about the craziest question that one could ask because nothing is coming out of my machine and my numbers is not clocking up. So if the one beside me on the left or the right was hidden, why in the world would I be sitting in front of the one in front of me? Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. So when I think about that, when I think about that experience um, on many occasions, um, I, I kind of feel the same way in life. When you have somebody that's losing in life in front of them, they don't have a good marriage. They don't have no good savings account. They, don't, they haven't made no good decisions. They're not in a good place with their family. They're jumping from job to job. They, they have not accomplished their dreams. They, have not, they haven't did the things that they want to do in life. So why is it that you're looking to the left or the right? You sitting, you sitting in front of you in a better position than they are, but you'll go and look to the left or the right and ask them, you know, is this hidden? Is this hidden? What you think about this idea? And they'll tell you, you know, even when you can be on the fence, you can be on the fence, getting ready to jump off, to get ready to jump into the thing, be a part of a thing, do a thing. And what you do, you would ask somebody that don't have a clue on why you're doing what you're doing. Because see, the first thing they want to know, why are you doing that? Why, 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 why are you doing that? I wouldn't do that if I was you. I wouldn't be doing, I, you know, I wouldn't be submitting to my husband. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't be cooking if you want me to cook. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing that. I, you talking to somebody telling you what you already know. You already know what they wouldn't do because they're not doing it. That's your best friend. That's your boo. That's your babe. They telling you what you already know. Their results, their results are showing what they won't do because they don't have any results or they have very minimum results. So why are we talking to people that have minimal results, that don't have drive, that is inconsistent in everything that they start instead of us taking a chance? But see, we don't want to take risk on the possibility of being successful. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. We don't want to take the risk of the possibility of us being successful because we have been unsuccessful so long that we have made our bed in our, we have made our bed in this dysfunction. But I, you know, I got on my another shirt. Shout out to my girl, Belinda. Uh, shout out to my girl, Belinda. I don't see her on here, but if you have, you know, all of my t-shirts needs nowadays that I get them from her, but it says that life begins at the end of your comfort zone. You got to get out of your zone. You got to get from around your familiarity. You got have the mindset of Abram. He said, I need you to get up out your daddy house, get up out your country, get from around your folks, get from around these people that you've been around, listen at this crazy stuff. This is me. I'm paraphrasing it. I, but I can just imagine what he was telling them. I need you to get from around. Because see, when you are around people that you always been around, when you're around people that you was raised up with, they want to question your motives. They want to question your movements. They want to question your message. They want to question your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why are you investing this? Why are you still reading that book? Why are you reading this over and over? Why are you getting over here doing these lives? Why are you still talking to these people that, 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 are not, that are not moving? That are not... Why? Why? But see, when he moved, when he moved, See, I'm going to make your name great. I am going to make your name great. And see, we'll sit back and question the possibility of getting out and getting up. But we will stay stuck in a place that we're not even comfortable in. We don't like it. It does not feel good. It is not prosperous. It's taken us nowhere. See, some of us, we're so metal and we're so settled down. You know, for me, for some of you, I may be too loud. I may be too excited. I may be too happy. I may be, have too much energy. All of that. But you get, guess what? That's your problem. 
That's your problem. You know, sometimes you get around people that will have you stuck in a place because, see, people in their little stank attitudes can change an environment. You can be happy, 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 and they got this look on them. They got the environment all warm because they're not motivated by nothing. They're questioning everything, and they'll change your drive. But, see, for me, I know how to speak to you in that zone and get up out of it because I, 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 I can... I can try to give you a helping hand, but one thing that I am not going to do is stay there with you. I can say, girl, you want to come out? You want to try this? You want to do this? You, you, you want to, you know, I'll go with you. I will take risk with you any direction, but staying stuck, I'm not going to stay there. I am not going to stay there. I've had people to walk away because they feel like you're not, you, you, you're not staying in the funk with them. I can't stay there. I can't stay there. I can offer you words of encouragement. I can tell you about faith. I can tell you about love. I can tell you about making moves. I can tell you about making some mistakes. I can tell you about some trials and tribulations. But staying stuck is not one that I can tell you about. That's not my story. That is not my story. And see, you know, when I'm sitting here and I look, I don't know if you can see this really good. Yeah, but let me see. I'm trying to get it where the lighting is not. See, even after this, let me see. What the light is? Let me see what my light is. Get, no, that's not the right light. That's the, we're going to get this thing where you can see it. Okay, what I need to do. What is it that I need to do? We're going to get this thing right. You just, you, you, you just, you hang tight. Because we're going to get this light right because we, I want you to see. I want you to see what I'm talking about. I want you to feel me and not just hear me. We're going we're gonna to get this light right. We're going to get this light right. We gonna, let's get some stuff moving and popping. Let's do it. We're going to get this light right because I, I want you to see this because this is important. Let me see if I turn this light off. Let's do it. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. But you see here, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get it. I am going to get it. But you see this right here. This didn't stop me. This did not stop me. Teeth wire shut, broken, lost femur, crushed knee, broken toes. This didn't stop me. So we cannot stay stuck in our past and figure that, you know, this happened to me, that happened to me. I, I, I you know, I just can't, I, I can't get over it. I can't get past it. I can't get through it. I can't get around it. There is nothing that we can go through that we cannot get around. There is nothing that we can go through that we cannot. We are not a part of the circumstances and the situation. We got to stop making it personal because there's a higher power that lets me know that I can overcome and I can get through anything. It's time. It is time for you. You telling yourself, I can't afford it. Oh, I can't, I can't afford it. I can't do this. I'm working on some things. You ain't working on nothing. You ain't working on nothing. Because what we have, what we are keeping ourselves from, it is keeping us in a stuck place. It's keeping us in a stuck place. It's keeping us at a minimum of the maximum. Oh, that was good right there, coach. Where we, where we are stuck, it is keeping us at a minimum of the maximum. We can be maximizing our life, but we're living that as a minimum list. We're minimizing the wrong thing. There are certain things that you don't need to minimize. There are certain things that you don't need to minimize. You do not need to minimize your personal development. You should be growing every day. As Tony Robbins said, miss a dog on me, but don't miss reading something. Read something every day. You know, there's another famous saying that if you want us to not know something, put it in a book, put it in writing, because we don't like to read. We like to skim through stuff, scam through stuff, scheme over stuff, skip over stuff, half look at stuff, and then we figure, you know, I ain't know. What we don't know, 
can hurt us. You know, we got this thing, what you don't know won't hurt you. That's a lie. What you don't know can and will hurt you. It is up to us to say, I'm going to find out. They may then tell me, but baby, I'm going to be looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for my success. I'm looking for my breakthrough. I'm looking for my way out. I am looking for it. Look, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm on to speak here. Um, in about an hour, so I got to get myself together, change up for that. Super excited. Again, if you're coming on, uh, we're open up in Pyronate Inner Circle January the 7th. 2021. If you have not been a part of Empowering Eight in a Circle, you need to be a part of it. If you have been a part of it, you need to be another part of it. Don't, don't, don't quit prematurely. I'm going to say that. Don't quit prematurely. Don't quit prematurely. Super excited to be here on today. If you're new to me, this is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated. I am known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert. I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and you got it. Get your dreams out of your head into your life. That life you live in, if you don't like it, you don't have to live that. That can be changed. That confidence that you have, if you don't believe that you're worth it, you are enough, all these different sources, types of things, the hidden barriers, your, the hidden barriers to your self is feeling like you're not enough. You can't do it. It's not possible. It's for everybody else and not you. That's a lie. You got to ask yourself, what is, what's the truth in this? What is the truth in this? Is those things that you're telling yourself, is that what God said? Are those things that you're telling yourself, is that the truth or is that what you believe? Get out of your head and get in your heart. Live the life of your dream and let's do it. 2020, 2020 is not, we're not new to it. We true to it. We got a, we, we, we got a new president. We have made more new history. It's time for us to get up off our do nothing and start doing something and making some stuff happen. Because life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Let's do it. I got to go and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.